Howdy folks, Doc here. Uh, today I've got a um, first look, for me anyway, of the uh, Knipex 13728 forged wire strippers. Um, they're 8 inch, uh, they're kind of a hybrid design, I'll get to them in a sec. These are uh, some of my other hybrids, most of these are Klein, here's a Milwaukee. Um, and what a hybrid essentially is, is instead of kind of the classic stripper that might have maybe a crimper or a little grabbing point or a cutter, um, they go a little further and include, you know, full-on plier, um, whether needle nose or, or almost lineman style, um, grabbing jaws. Um, they've got a whole series of different uh, features. Some have alignments like this, this Milwaukee. There are some alignment um, peaks, basically, in the cutter, whereas most of them are kind of straight like that, and you can choose, let me put it over here so you can see, so you can see, you can see each notch is totally uh, uniform from the one next to it, whereas some of these others, um, you can see there are these bumps, those help align things. Klein likes to have the uh, kind of straight ones there, um, which means it's sometimes a little bit harder to index exactly where if you're cutting the same wire over and over again. So I'll show you why that's important in a sec. Um, but anyway, that, there seems to be a kind of an evolution going on, and you can watch it. You know, just go down to your tool store and literally view how these things are kind of evolving. Um, so it's definitely uh, a new trend. This is this is the way things are going. Um, so we've got basically grabbing jaws, you've got wire strippers, you've got cutting knives, you've got bolt cutters, um, and you might have crimpers somewhere. Um, and on this one, I don't see a crimper. You might be able to crimp a little there. Um, they can be spring-loaded um, or not. Um, the spring-loaded ones, there is actually kind of a happy medium. You need enough texture and grip on the handle that that spring um, provides enough resistance to keep a grip on the tool. Um, if it's too much, the tool can fly out of your hand. If it's too little, then uh, this Milwaukee's barely enough. My, you know, um, what you have to do is hang on to the tool. So once you hang on to it, it you kind of undo some of the benefit of the spring. So what's going on here is um, I have to literally wrap my fingers around it to hold on to it. Whereas this Klein, the spring is strong enough that literally I can hold, hold it like this. The Milwaukee, uh, not so much. Um, and then others don't have any springs. So if you're building a spring, there is an optimum tension and that has to do with the grip of the handle um, and whether or not you can easily hold it in your hand you know, imagine vertical fingers um, that allow it to both spring functionally but not be dangerous. Um, the smaller the tool, sometimes you really need the spring or you absolutely don't want it. Depends on the job. Um, you can kind of see that they Klein evolved out of taking a standard needle nose and then added the wire strippers um, and then maybe the bolt cutters here. Then they beefed it up. Um, a lot of industrial finish stuff here versus full chrome. This one was one of my favorites. It's a very small, look at the, if you look at the size of the handles, this is tiny. They've, they've done it also with this one here, um, but a lot of the others are definitely um, a bigger handle. Um, but this one's got the crimper, the, the uh, bolt cutters, cutting knives, um, basic strippers, and then really beefy, nice, strong um, grabbing jaws. So let's take a look. That's why you're here. Let's slide this guy out. Came out of plastic there. Um, and what we've got here, this is the Knipex 13728. Eight, I guess. Is that the inch? Yeah, eight inch. So what we've got is kind of an industrial finish, um, sort of a hybrid tool. Now this one, they do make a narrower one that has more of the, uh, my Milwaukee, more of the smaller tips. So you can see the different tip designs here. Um, I, I really like this grabbing surface. Um, it's kind of why I went with this one. Um, this one's a lot beefier. This is a lot finer. Um, I have found this is too thick for a lot of things. Um, and, and Klein, all three of mine are pretty thick. This one's narrower, similar to the Milwaukee, but it, it, the profile, even though it's, it's a wider jaw, 
um, at least in the pictures, since now I've got my hands on it, um, it's actually narrower. So it's a trade-off, but sometimes I find this just isn't enough for grabbing you know, bigger parts. But what do we have? We've got a couple of things. We've got the uh, um, kind of the lineman or the grabbing jaws, a little bit of a duck bill going on here. Um, this is a wire bending hole, so you can just quickly grab a wire and it seats in there. Notice it's smooth, so it's not going to score up the wire. And that allows you to do some twisting, say for outlet work or something like that. Um, another grabbing jaw, then it's got, this is like for bolts or nuts, this little bit larger spot there, um, which grabs, you know, kind of round things. Um, and then it goes through the different sizes of um, both solid and stranded wire. So you can see here it's got these indexing points that allow you to quickly drop it in either, you know, um, 12 or 10 or 18 or 14, etc. Um, then down here it's got a pretty impressive cutter. Um, if you look at the design here, and this, by the way, is spring-loaded. Seems about, it's a heavy, yeah, it's about right. You can see I can easily hold it with just the friction of the uh, of the spring, but it's not too much. Shouldn't fly out. It's also, it's almost dampened a little bit, kind of neat. Um, but anyway, it's got this great big set of knives. Now, one of the problems I've noticed with some of these is the knives aren't very big. And in fact, this one is really small, which disappointed me. Um, you can see how small that knife is. So if I grab like this Romex here, throw it in there, first, ugh, you know, it's just barely the size. Any bigger? You know, we'll get like, I go to a little bit larger knives here, you know, much easier. Um, let's try these guys. Which one am I looking at here? Here we go. Let's see how these work. Um, Got to expand them, it looks like. Wow, look at that grab. Look how much it's still within the knife, and it actually seats it to hold it. So let's grab it and cut. Oh, you, that is so easy. Unbelievable. Let me see how many fingers. So I got two, fing two fingers and a thumb. Can I do it? Uh, whoa, I did it. <laughs> two, two fingers and a thumb, and I cut through, I think, what is this, 12 gauge Romex? Um, anyway, the, the knives are just beautiful. It also has two um, bolt cutters, and it says this is the only, or the first, one that you don't have to thread the bolts in. Just drop them in, cut them, and it's so clean that it doesn't mess up the threads, which is one of the reasons you'd thread it through on uh, traditional holes, hole designs here. Um, and it's to 8 30 seconds and 6 30 seconds, two common electrical bolt sizes. Um, feels really smooth. I guess you could use, use that as a crimper. Um, Wonderful. I like the build quality as I kind of eyeball these. It does have an ambidextrous lock, so right-handed, work it on the inside. If you were left-handed, you could work it uh, on the outside. Um, I do like these locks. A lot of times, like here's Milwaukee's kind of old-school garden clipper lock, um, but a lot of times, you know, these spring-loaded ones, I'll just grab, as I've shown, an inner tube there, or like on these, Oh, I used a bolt cap um, to just keep them closed. This can pop off if I was worried. Um, I could just throw that on. But a lot of times I like to keep them closed. It protects the knives um, and the cutter for the, at the stripper, but it also causes um, you know, it to take up less space. This one you can't really close because it opens up on the other side, and I'm marginal on this thing. But anyway, that's my hands-on with this. I like the size. I like the the blades, I mean the um, the, the uh, jaws, the overall design. I'll give it a test and, and see. Um, but I guess that means in the evolution of things, I'm just not not quite there. I'm always glancing over my shoulder at the next the next plier um, to see. I like the smaller, narrower form here. Obviously, if I'm doing something big on this one, I do have to maybe open it up which it does allow you to. It's spring-loaded in both directions. Maybe that's a feature, I don't know, to hold it onto something. Um, but the cutting, I, I just, I, I'm starting to really appreciate the uh, engineering and ergon ergodynamics of, you know, the fit of a human hand with the pliers um, with, for Knipex. They're just, they're pushing the envelope right now. Anyway, there it is, a 1372-8. 
uh, wire stripper plier hybrid thing. Um, call it the forged wire stripper multi-component. Whatever. Anyway, I'm sure there are more features I'll discover, but so far, um, I like it. And with that, dock out.